In this video, we're going to look at the difference between a standard external hard drive, Western digital hard drives, and solid state, as well as the difference between USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. So I'm on a Windows 10 machine. I've got 16 gigs of RAM and a solid state drive for my OS. What we're going to use here, however, is this folder, which happens to be a virtual machine. And if we go to properties, we'll see that the folder is 8.94 gigabytes in size. We're going to copy that to three drives. The first is a Western Digital My Passport USB 2.0 version. The next is also a Western Digital My Passport Ultra with the USB 3.0 interface. The last is a My Digital SSD, which also is USB 3.0. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll drag it over, we'll start the copy, then we'll start the timer above. Left click drag, let go start the timer as quick as I can, and I'll bring over the transfer window so that you can see it. So as you can see, it's transferring. These are connected to the appropriate ports on my computer, so the USB 2.0 is connected to a 2.0 port. We can see that its speed of transfer is about 40 megabits per second. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and pause the video, and as it gets close to the end, I'll restart the video so you don't have to sit here and be bored watching this. So as you can see, we're down to about 500 megabytes. As soon as that window disappears, the transfer window disappears, I will stop the clock. Almost done. Here we go. And we're done. Three minutes, 47 seconds, roughly. So we'll just write that down, three minutes, 47 seconds, and for you all that want the extra time, there's our 09. All right, let's start the process again, this time using USB 3.0. I'll reset the clock, and we're ready to go. Left click drag, let go, come up, start the clock, and bring the transfer window over so that you can all see it. There we go. So as you can see, now we're running at about, on average, maybe 100 megabits per second, according to Microsoft. Let's go ahead and pause, and we'll come back when it's almost done. Now this time, I'll start the video back a little bit earlier, so I'm prepared, because as you can see, we're running faster. About twice as fast, so our time should be about half. And indeed, it was. One minute, 37 seconds, and 17. So here we go. One minute, 37 seconds, and that's 17. So our final test, I'll reset this, is going to be to transfer this folder to a USB 3.0 solid state drive. Now remember, my computer has solid state. So it's going from a solid state drive out to these external devices. Here we go, left click, drag, make it run, hit the start button. I'll bring this over so that you can all see it. Now this time we're gonna stay with it and see how long it takes on a USB 3.0 device to get this whole file. As you can see, it's going pretty quickly. You're watching this in real time. I'm not speeding up the video. When it's done and the window goes away, I will stop the clock. There we are. 33 seconds, 33 seconds. So the difference, three minutes, 47 seconds, one minute, 37 seconds, and 33 seconds. I can't wait to get my hands on a computer that has a USB 3.1 or type C connection, which theoretically says it can run twice as fast as USB 3.0. We'll see. That's enough for now. Take care.